Okay. Due to the codes and it's saying that there's a battery supply issue with the history of the alternator and that looking like it had gotten very hot plus the codes leads me down to a wiring grounding issue. So I've gone through cleaned grounds everywhere. Got them down to bare metal. I mean bare metal. You can see right down in there. The ones down underneath are the same way. So we've got... <clears throat> Come on. Apologies, I have to climb down. I've done that one. And that one right there. Down to bare metal. And I've cleaned the grounds. There's one over on this side. It's clean. Let's see. <sighs> Trying to get in here is a nightmare, sorry. Okay, so you've got one up there that goes to the block. Those connections are clean. Okay, so with that said, I figured I will just disconnect the battery, isolate everything so that it's as if there's no power to this car, and I'm going to start checking for the ability for current to flow through the wiring harness. My belief, because of the way that this battery is not reacting when you put the negative terminal in, it should spark, it should make a sound, and it's just been dead in the water. I mean, like, so quiet. So I connected that connector in there. Put my flash on. Now I've got my ohms reading to ohms, which is gonna measure the resistance. That it tells me internally, inside this tape the ability for current to flow through the wiring harness so since that's a negative ground i'm going to start going to the negative grounds this one here controls the fuel and or the spark plugs ignition coils this one here goes back to the main computer you have a code that's associated with communication with the main computer so having said that I'm gonna to touch that there, and I can't keep them both in the same shot, apologies. I'm gonna move this closer so that you can see. Okay, there we go. So now I'm right next to it, and you can see, 1.40. That number, I don't have the specifications for what that number is supposed to be at. I will look that up. But I wanted to show this. If I go to the other one that goes to the ignition coils, it's 15.25. Look at the considerable difference between those two. I mean, that is a significant difference. And these both ground to the same area. So one of these is either letting too much or too little electricity flow through it, depending on what those numbers tell me. But... What I'm going to do beyond that, there's a ground down here that's associated with that ABS that has zero resistance. As I touch it right now, it goes to zero. If I disconnect it, it's giving me five. So let me pause this for a minute and I'll disconnect that one and show you. Okay, so this ground is the one that was connected down there. This wire goes directly to that braking unit. And remember, there's no voltage applied to this, so everything is, there's no nothing here. It's as if the battery's not even here. So I touch this one, 5.70. Jump to this one, 1.40. Jump to this one, 15.27 now the values may be different for these I haven't looked up the specs so the values can be different but these two here because they're on the same harness and they ground right next to each other in the same spot they should be relatively close and they're just like such a huge discrepancy there and what's really weird is that there's no battery connection here 
when I put these down and touch them to the body of the car, watch this. So I take this and it's at 15.23, okay, 15.28. Now watch the second that I touch it to the car frame, it zeroes out. Take it off. There's nothing powering this car at all. This battery is not hooked up. Why is the resistance values changing depending on where the wires are? So internally, there's a ground somewhere that's picking up and catching for this, but why? I'm gonna come down here, touch this one and take it back to the frame. Apologies for the terrible camera work. I'm just trying to show you. Okay, so I'm touching. Zero. I'm going to let go. And I'm back to, should go back to five. Yeah, five point. Come on. Five point six one. Now I'm going to touch it to the frame. And. Come on. There we go. So just very different readings on all the grounds. And that's with nothing hooked up at all. Why such different readings everywhere? <sighs> this is horrible. 